Now, w w when you talk about mental health, there might be some beliefs, culture beliefs, eh, myths, misconceptions that really affect our growth of mental illness, maybe mental health, if I'm to say. Our society is dictated a lot into, or maybe at times contribute yeah. to, to our failing of mental health because of some beliefs that are that we are misconceived. So we, we, we fail to understand mental health itself. Yeah. And therefore if mental illnesses come our way because of these misconceptions, yeah, stereotypes, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. we fail to even look for ways of how we can better and Yeah. And I think this this actually affects our self awareness when it comes to yeah. our mental health. Yeah. Because if someone is having a misconception, a myth or maybe a false belief they believe in when it yeah. comes to mental health then in the long run they won't be in position to address it and of course for them they don't look at it as a misconception maybe to them it is a fact and it is mm -hmm. a reality they believe and in it and i think we are here to address it not as a fact to them and we are trying to bring it out as really a would, I, would i be right if i'm if i'm like you a man be a man man up yeah, that is, I think that is one of the misconceptions, especially when it comes to the way men are supposed to treat things to do with mm. mental illnesses. In mm. other words, it is actually, and we also need to strike a balance here, that we need to pay attention to the fact that, yes, men are needed to be courageous. Mm. Men are needed to rise up to the occasion, to stand up, to be at the forefront of facing the hard things that are coming their way. Mm. But if crying is one of the means to to relieve you of a certain burden mm. men do cry and it mm. i i believe i stand to be corrected mm. i believe that men can really cry mm. because if 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 our tradition tells us about uh, the noblest of the last creatures the prophets mm. crying mm. and allah points it out in the quran he he cried the prophet yaqub alayhi salam wa biyadat aina his eyes scholars say went blind mm -hmm. because of the grief he was going through if that was the case for yaqub alayhi salam mm -hmm. if it was the case with the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam crying mm -hmm. after the loss of his his beloved son mm -hmm. it would mean that crying is important but mm -hmm. what is making you cry mm -hmm. because men do cry about important things mm. if it if especially if it is coming up with the mental health now yeah. that we are focusing on because if the mind is not in the right place mm. then it means there is going to be an imbalance like so so, about so 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 previously. basically the fact uh, being a man is not is not something that stops you from being a human being yeah uh, exactly. going through some emotions yeah. and so on but i think we we, we can also address I don't know why locally we have a limit. Yeah. Uh, the Bagandas normally say kukaba, yeah. but the English they have the wailing thing. Yeah, we have crying and yeah, the crying wailing. and wailing, yeah. where someone can shed tears. Actually, you can inclu include the third term, weeping. A uh, weeping, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Someone, someone is going through something. They are not shedding tears, but yeah. they are literally crying. Crying from the inside. From the inside. Yeah. Uh, letting that emotion out yes. so in giving this misconception clarification uh, it's not right I think when someone thinks just being a man is going to make them an island yeah yeah, yeah. yeah and just to stand to be corrected we are not trying to raise crying babies we are cry babies all the time no? exactly because someone might think we are trying to just get into a movement of men please cry yeah. but we are trying to put uh, that balance between the mental health of someone yeah. and we have very many citations and, for and if, if crying is coming as one of the options exactly and the society is telling me don't cry you are a man exactly it's going it's to stop you from being a better person yeah. tomorrow also just like uh, i wouldn't open up to anyone about my 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 health anywhere mm -hmm. even okay just like b simply because i'm talking to a medical doctor mm -hmm. i have a physical ailment a physical illness mm -hmm. i don't feel shy to talk to the to the medical i easily open up mm -hmm. i have a headache i have a stomach ache mm -hmm. but how many times have you had people 
opening up themselves to the counselors, to the therapists. Mm. It is actually one of the roles of the therapists, the professionals, mm. to, to dig deep into the into what's going on. What's going on? It mm. is actually the therapists. Therapists are paid for that mm. to dig deep into this someone. It is because maybe in one way or the other there is a stereotype going on that it, it embarrasses for me to to talk about this even mm. to the right people yeah, yeah, yeah that even even when it comes to talking to your loved ones mm. about something that is bothering you from from a, a mental health point of view mm. you feel shy mm. that you shy out maybe i'm going to be embarrassed yeah. there is there is a way people are going to look at me that is not okay mm -hmm. and you're like mm -hmm. no if if islam gives health mm -hmm. a, an important uh, role mm -hmm. in life and that includes physical mm -hmm. and mental health it means that anything to make sure we are physically healthy mm -hmm. we are mentally healthy yeah. you're not supposed to be feel shy I, I, actually uh, that also opens a door into uh, someone investing in making sure they're going to do that to a right person yeah because if we are talking about someone not feeling embarrassed yeah, sure. not feeling shy when they're opening up to the right person yeah. then it is also an indirect message to them yeah. to make sure they they get to the right person to get the right person yeah because if they don't get to the right person yeah. opening up to them it might get turn out being a factor of some more mental illness M more embarrassment yeah, more embarrassment that might come out of that i think it's it it, it it normally happens because like if a prominent chef goes to to seek therapy maybe yeah then they then almost obviously the therapist is like yeah yeah chef so and so came to me and yes, he, he has told told me human that, being. Yeah, some yeah. people use that as content too as because content, yeah. yeah as they're trying to advertise themselves so the right person is also key yeah that if you, you if you found the right person yeah. please don't feel embarrassed it is open up it open up it is a mm. misconception that you're going to be embarrassed yeah it's actually that no one is making you feel embarrassed it is actually the embarrassment is coming from within yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. and if we try to clear that i think it would be and if if anyone happens to be a right person anywhere i think you need to put value to that time and moment. professionalism and yeah when yeah. when when someone is trying to talk to you yeah. they think confidentiality confidentiality they have put your, the trust in you yeah. i think do that back put the trust back and value that position you're in also about people saying uh, uh, someone who is having mental health issues as they look at them as not being religious enough uh, oh yeah someone you, you can't be you can't be religious and, and at the same time having have some mental okay if you are if you are if you are religious enough it means you're so close to god then mm. why would you be battling depression with true, depression true. anxiety and stress mm. this is not right i think it's a myth too yeah it needs to be clarified that there is nothing uh, there is no connection between religiosity and mental mental health mm, mm, mm. because you you might be a practicing muslim you observe your five daily prayers mm. but still life happens yeah Tra traumatizing situations come your way mm -hmm. yeah you are stressed out at work mm -hmm. these are things that have no relationship with it, it basically makes sense religion. when when the prophet is like when allah loves loves their 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 creatures mm -hmm. he, he, he tests them he, tests them. he tries them yeah yeah so it, it would be a wrong understanding when where someone thinks just because they are good at their religion mm. then they're supposed to be good in every, every aspect of oh, life oh yeah maybe it, yeah uh, it, it's if, not, if i'm good in religion then i'm supposed to be good good in yeah. life and some cases would be that if i'm praying five times a day mm. why isn't my financial status okay mm. also because yeah, yeah. Th there are myths that come that way so prayer isn't helping you because you're still poor and you're mm, praying mm. you're praying five times a day and so it needs to be understood that even when you're talking about mental illness you can still be so religious mm. and still you're battling mental illnesses yeah yeah so it it is important for us to know this as a misconception it, it is really a misconception yeah, yeah, yeah. for you to look at someone who is battling mental illness as not being mm. religious so what we are basically doing is to throw awareness out there for yeah. people not to get to these misconceptions myths and all these beliefs that that are misconceived yeah yeah because uh, i don't really think whoever whoever brought a statement of be a man was was having this as in their mind 
yeah. of don't cry, don't open up, don't do it. Mm. I don't think that was what he was doing. Yeah. But to strike the balance between the two, I think we're supposed to also encourage people who are in those positions to remember their roles in that angle. Yeah. Because if you're a father, mother, and you open up to your kid, mm. a minor in this case, mm. that opening up might be sensitive to them. It's all, it's all that in that line, it yeah. is obviously an imbalance an about imbalance, your yeah. definition of who is the right person. The right person you're, you're, you're opening up to, because you, you, you protect that in that angle. Yeah. Also, not, not neglecting the fact, of course, uh, some people say things to do with the, the genes whatsoever, things in the Demons. other dimension mm. of our existence. We can't rule that out, obviously, but we need to also pay attention to the fact that they are not always genes. Yeah. Like of recently, I had a case of a brother coming to me and he's like, uh, my mom wants to take me for, for, for Rukia, for Rukia thing, mm. so that people pray for me because they know I'm, I don't okay. talk to people. Mm. I don't talk to, to my people. It has been now, been quite some time. I'm not talking to my family members. I'm like, could you please talk to a counselor? Mm. Because, uh, as, I've, of course, I'm not a professional, mm. but I would call that, it is a personality maybe disorder mm. maybe you are an introvert yeah, yeah how do you check about that mm. because because there is not enough awareness with people anything that appears to them as a disorder genes genes you need to clear mm. so like, this awareness will work for them awareness Probably. i think it, it works before you for switch them. to the, to yeah. the, the other if you don't look at it as a mental illness you, the only illness that matters to you is physical illness. Mm. When mental illness comes in, of course, you will, do, you will not have any other alternative mm. apart from saying these are gene. Yeah, this, yeah. yeah. Mm. And uh, I think that brings us to a point that it's okay to be mentally unhealthy. Yes. Because I don't think we have anyone standing on earth without any challenge mentally. Yes. But this whole awareness contributes into doing something. Mm. to make sure it's it's not bothering you and maybe yeah. affecting your thoughts and talking actions. about talking about doing something uh, i think this is when we need to talk about the factor of just like we we said with Musa alayhi salam mm. and the staff who were on the sea mm. another myth is that when you're battling mental mental illness you don't need to talk about that to your imam to your to your counselor that mm. is a test from allah just oh yeah go through go it go through it it's a mm. test from allah time will come and it will go through it. it. It is a misconception because even part of going through it is seeking for yeah, yeah, medical, yeah. medical assistance. Talking to someone. Talking to someone. Yeah. So it is important for us to realize that these are myths that are ca have a cultural background, a traditional background, especially when you're talking about um, uh, men don't cry mm. traditionally because men are supposed to man up mm. uh, rise up to the occasion and if it happens that way i think we need to to make people come to a realization mm. that these are actually myths this is a kind of illness that needs to be given awareness for people to understand that just like we are aware of our physical illness mm. we need to obviously be aware of our mental mental illness, mental true, illness true, true. and seek for ways in which we can work upon them. May Allah see us through that. Amen.